What's going on guys? So I want to make this little video for you just to sort of hype you up about Easter. The event is going to be coming out this weekend. Um, as for which day, I'm not 100% sure. We're aiming for Friday, but um, I can confirm that it will be at least on the 1st. So it will be at least Sunday. Um, but the hope is to have it out a day or two earlier. So everything is essentially coded. I just kind of have to add everything together and then do some other things. Uh, if you look in this, uh, the player thing, there's invention updates. I'm not going to talk about those in this video, but that's uh, one of the things I have to work on as well. Um, so let's get started. So uh, the reason I'm making this video is because there's, it's kind of a, a confusing event at first. Obviously, you know, once you understand what everything works, it, 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 it's really easy to pick up. It's just right away it's going to be confusing and I can already tell there's going to be a lot of problems with people not knowing what to do and, and getting frustrated because of it. So I figured I'd just make this video and we would always have it. Plus, I want to, you know, get your guys' opinions because I actually am still coding these things. It is uh, Wednesday, right? So yeah, so you do have a, a little bit of time to, to provide any feedback if you want. So uh, with the logic of this event, you're going to have three eggs you have to collect. And uh, one of the eggs is going to be found in Clue Scrolls. One of them is going to be found through uh, killing monsters over 69 combat. And then the last one will be through the fishing, mining, and woodcutting skills. Once you have all three, you can combine them together to make a reward egg. It is that simple. That's it. That is the, the, the event. <clears throat> so you're probably like, oh, okay, well, that's not crazy. Yeah, there's some other things, but they're not... You don't need to know them, you know what I mean? You don't need to know them, so I'm not going to spoil them. Because I'm trying to do this video the best I can without spoiling some of the better things. So, so yeah, if you... Uh, when you log in on, the, on the, the day that the event is out, all you have to do is start working towards those three eggs. You do need all three to uh, to make a reward egg. So you will have to do some clues, you will have to kill a couple monsters, and you will have to skill. And there might be other things throughout the event that will speed up those processes, but that's the gist of the event. So Some people were concerned about stockpiling items. Um, you could technically stockpile clues, but it, you know clues aren't really that hard to get anyways, and I'm sure that... And that's only one part of the puzzle, you know what I mean? So, as for some of the total rewards, we have the uh, glamorous bunny outfit. And the bunny outfit will... Uh, you, the, the ears and the feet are tradable. So you can buy these from other players or borrow them, because I know that's what you guys, people bastards, will do. But you do have to get the top legs and paws yourself. Those, those, those three parts are not tradable. So, whenever you have the full set... As long as, you know, it's also a fashion scape, but, you know, look at me, adorable. You can come talk to the wise old man, and he might have something special for you. That was a little bit of lag right there, but, uh, yeah, we have the Easter egg. So, teleports, not going to tell you what they do or why, but uh, it is pretty helpful. And if people are wondering, you can morph into the egg. So, I know some people didn't trust that that was going to work. It does, and it does switch. So that is the grand prize. So ultimately, what's one thing you want to collect? There's going to be a pet. Of course, there's always a pet. Every event has a pet. I'm not even going to get into that. You can already kind of figure that all, the whole thing out. There are some other great unique rewards, including the Chronicle Book. So the Chronicle Book is actually a pretty cool one, in my opinion. Whenever you wield it and you're opening clues, let's um, open up some clues. Hopefully, Proctors. You, have, you now have... A 1 in 25 chance... Oh, that was way too many clues. I'm retarded. I had the number 25 in my head. Uh, 10. That's probably still too many. So... When you have it worn and you're opening clues, you have a 1 in 25 chance of actually saving your clue. So just 1 in 25 chance of just doubling your clue loots, basically. And it does not matter which style of clue. I'm just using easy because I remember the ID. Um... Of course, I'm probably not going to get to Proctor. It's 1 in 25, like I said. So you can see how it's not broken, if that's a concern. And if you think um, the rate should be adjusted again, you have time, because everything is still actually being coded. I'm trying to get it to Proctor. You'll know when it, pro it does yell. Uh, it will not yell, but it says something in the chat when it Proctor, so we'll know. And you'll also see that the clue will go away. Of course, I try to do this. I, I see. I don't. It's one of those things where I don't, don't want to like cut away because the whole point is like, let you see that it works. Son of a bitch! Oh, there it is. There. there, there. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so yeah, your bookman just saved a clue. So I got the loot, and we still have ourselves another casket, and it works well. So I'm actually pretty stoked about this item. I'm definitely gonna go for it myself. It is kind of hard to obtain because it is a rare item from the reward egg. 
Um, and you do need those three things. So there's this. There's some other goodies I don't want to get into. So a lot of new invention stuff coming out. I know people always are kind of skeptical with invention and everything like that. But the goal for all this new stuff is to really kind of like get people into it. There's going to be a, a, a quite a few things you can do, and, and we're going to try to we're going to try. And they're they're better. They're they're a lot better. They're more useful for your everyday um, gameplay and whatnot. So. Uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to this event. There is a couple of things going on. We are going to have double experience this weekend. It is confirmed we'll have double experience this weekend. And this weekend, you're hearing it first, we're going to have the Ring of Wealth boost. So basically what this is going to do is all of the ring, the luck boosting rings are going to double. So the luck of the pugs will have double the effect. And that's going to be for Sunday, though. That's only going to be on Sunday. It's so not the entire weekend, just Easter Sunday, and that'll be it. So that should be cool. We've actually done one before. If you're if you're concerned about that being overpowered, we've done one before, and it was not as overpowered as everybody thought it was going to be. It was really it was good. You could tell because you know every yell drops are constant, but it wasn't crazy overpowered like like you might be thinking. So yeah, and that'll be on Sunday. So check that out. I'll have more information in a uh, in the description below if you if you want to recap anything, but. Yeah, that is it for the video. Happy Easter coming. I'm not gonna show you anything else. I don't. I didn't want this to be about spoilers. I just wanted to explain the, the, the you know, a couple things and sort of build a little bit of hype. So again, if you, you know, just watch the video back over. Three eggs, one skilling, one clues, one P PVM. Bye.